Hey everybody, welcome back to Slice Toasts on Slice Toast Gaming Channel. Now that I've actually gotten the proper editing video software up and running, I'm actually able to play this game while recording my voice so it's not just pew pews and explosions. Anywho, uh, no one's really on today, so I was thinking about taking out one of my destroyers, and I'm still kind of torn whether it's between the Nicholas or the Minikaze. So I've played the literal tar out of my Pensacola. It's a fun ship. It's a great ship. I enjoy it now that it's fully upgraded, but it was an absolutely terrible, absolutely horrible grind to get to it. Eh, so let's go... How is the Nicholas doing? It's got enough modules. I'm trying to get to the Farragut, which is... It's own reward, I guess you could say. You know, there's not enough Nicholas love out there. Let's go play a game with Nicholas. I'll get longer videos in, that's for sure. Uh, but as of right now, I just kind of want to do a small video to test it. A new editing software I picked up for free and see if the resizing comes pretty easy. So what do we got right now? Oh yeah, I'm outclassed. Horribly. Well, at least the two destroyers on the enemy team I can easily kill, because this thing murders destroyers. Always has, always will, and it's always delicious when it does. So, let's start the battle and see what happens. Okay, so it's the... What this map's called? Two Brothers, or the most common one. General Quarters! Just tell my team I'm gonna go get C, help them out. Uh, as far as whether or not I'll be playing any more World of Tanks, I'm kind of like on the fence about it, because World of Tanks is fun. It's a blast, I love tanks. But I love ships just a little bit more, come to think of it. And the uniqueness of this game is really cool. It doesn't promote play styles that really, <laughs> uh, going and running, run gun sort of scenario all barrels blaze and hopefully not getting shot so I I like it it's a great little ship and great game uh, anyway American destroyers what's not to love and or hate about them the guns are amazing the range on packing is 10.9 meters which is good however the uh, torpedoes they have unlike the Japanese absolutely just are terrible these take 65 seconds to reload, while the Japanese Tier 3 or Tier 5 take only 30 seconds. But uh, the Americans get more of them. Like, as you can see, I've got six torpedo banks aside, as compared to the Japanese uh, torpedo ships, we just have maybe, I think it's six down the middle, which gives them a faster reload. But I just love the ability to, to shoot more. Like, if you go in between two ships and launch both sides, theoretically, you kill the two enemy team has taken the lead. But it's kind of tricky since this destroyer tends to use guns more often than anything else. Uh, so we're going to take a little mosey on over here to D. See what's up with D. Which, uh, truth be told, is probably going to be my death. Because, yeah, D tends to be like that. Oh, I keep forgetting that back gun on this thing is so weird. you got to have it about the middle of the ship or else you can't shoot it. Engine boost activated. Now, one of the key skills I have for my commander on this ship that helps a lot is the ability to be spotted early, which is just a single, simple point upgrade, which is so nice to have. I remember in War Gaming's other game, World of Tanks, if you wanted the ability to be known if you've been spotted or not, you need to go a long, a long, lengthy tree. You have to have your crew upgraded to ridiculous levels before you can get the ability to be spotted. And this one, it's like maybe four or five games with a commander for your ship, if that, and you suddenly have the ability to see if you're spotted. So I'm gonna play it safe and pop smoke while I'm stationary. Smoke generator started. Yeah, the destroyers themselves are really weakly armored. Uh, this one actually has 13,000 health, whereas the Japanese one only has 10,000 for this level. So, okay. Random shells. Oh, smoke no screen awesome. set. I guess I'll be the only person over on this side, so that's cool, I guess. We're slowly pulling into the lead on points since we have most of the points captured right now, and soon we'll have D captured too. There it is. Um, I don't have 
Oh boy, there's Cleveland's in this game. I don't have much backup right now, so I'm gonna play it safe. Okay, so there's a couple ships. Arkansas, Fuso. Cleveland, which is a big scary no-no. Uh, usually how it is is with destroyers, uh, you want to... Whoa, there is an enemy destroyer in here. Time to get gone. Yep, there is. Nope. That one I hit. There we go. Engine Whoa. boost deactivated. Yep. There's the shells. All right, I'm invisible now, so that's helpful. I had a feeling that destroyer was going to be over here. Let's see if I can't beat with a devilish. Torpedoes fate. direct front. Oh, he fired torpedoes at me. That's adorable. Yeah, there's two destroyers around here. Yep, there's one. He's got torpedoes. I have torpedoes. Like so. Hit him once. Jesus. Torpedoes astern. Time to go, boys. Yeah, you can't. Oh boy, that's a Cleveland. You can't really fight Clevelands too well in the destroyers. Oh, I'm hoping one of those hits you. Well, I lost D. I'll laugh if those hit. Oh, they will actually. Nice! Thousand damage. I'll take it. Unable to maneuver. And an Omaha. Yeah, I'm out. Problem solved, sir. Engine steering. Oh, engine, engine steering. Damage. That's the only problem with this ship is all destroyers. If you can hit anywhere vital, you just start taking massive. I'm going to go invisible here shortly and stop getting pelted in the distance. Any time now. I'm not detected anymore. A minute 26 to get my engines back up. Yes, I know I'm being detected. Master is going to spawn. Alright, let's go! Back up and run. Problem solved, sir. You know what? Gun Turk can take the hit. I'm okay with that. I'll happily take that. Oh, and my steering's out. Yes! Killed that dude. Enemy destroyer founder. Steering gear's out. Slope generator started. Go, boys. All right, looks like we're winning anyway. So I'm actually gonna. Oh shit! Smoke screen. Of course, you always got to be careful when playing an American destroyer because whenever you fire your guns, you become more visible on the map, which sadly is what the American destroyers are best known for, is their guns. So, 
every time you shoot, you just gotta be careful. So I'm gonna go down south because this here is a lost cause. I, I can't, a solo, a solo destroyer can't possibly even begin to fight these things up north. I'm sitting at 3,000 health too. I'm not sitting too hurting. Okay. My repair is done, so I've got more repairs in here. But it looks like we're capping uh, B. No, it looks like the destroyer's chickened out. Uh, there's a Fuso up here, all sorts of fun stuff. Nice. So there's no more destroyers. Our victory is in sight. We killed them all. So, hooray! Engine boost deactivated. I'm getting the heck out of here because I, like I said, I can't take on a Cleveland and Omaha and two battleships. It's just, in a destroyer of this class, it just ain't happening. With American destroyers, the key thing I could always say is you always want to use the islands to your advantage because it's the only thing you've got going for you. Um, in open ocean maps, the only thing you can rely on is your guns. It's the only thing you can do. If you try to close the distance to use torpedoes, 9 out of 10, you're going to die, hands down. There's no if, ands, buts, or anything. It's just they're going to shoot the tar out of you, and they're going to call it a day. So, that's always a key thing. Let's see what we got here. An Omaha. Which, given the amount of stuff we have over here, plus a Fuso, we can probably take him on. Ooh, Congo, that's a problem. Where is he? He's behind a mountain. I doubt my anti. The anti aircraft capabilities on the Nicholas is alright, but it's not the best. That's the that's a big plus about using these little ships as compared to some of the bigger ships is you can get away with a lot more just by dodging. That's always a big thing. We're seriously trying to lose. Wow, it's really cake okay, battleship. Oh no, he's aiming at the other battleship behind me. Well, since they're out of D, we might as well go cap it. Seems like a nice thing to do. How am I missing this? This thing's huge. I uh, probably have to aim farther ahead. Don't play. Looks like we're gonna win. <laughs> Not to mention the Azokaze just launched a ton of torpedoes. Yeah, we won. Yay! Victory goes to the Nicholas and crew. Ah, oh, that was hair raising. Thought I was done there for a while, but not bad. Not bad overall. There we go. That's one quick game with the Nicholas. Well, I just want to do this as a test. Glad it seems to be working real well. And I'll see you guys next time. Toast signing out.